Welcome to another equipment system tutorial. This time around, we set up our preview window. Let's get started. At the moment, we've got a pretty good thing going. We can equip our items and our players' stats change each time we add something in there. The only problem is, once we start getting more pieces of equipment, we're gonna wanna be able to do some comparisons so that I can click on the sword and see what its stats are before I decide whether or not I want to equip it. That's where we're headed in this tutorial. Now it seems like getting the information to your stat preview window should be a relatively straightforward thing. You just click on your equipment slot and it sends the data to your preview. Or the same when you click on an equipped slot. However, there's a problem here because our equipment slot and equipped slot don't actually hold the information about our items. And so we've got to back it up a step. All of our information is actually stored inside of our equipment scriptable object. So what we'll need to do is actually make it so when you click on one of these slots, they send a message to the equipment scriptable object telling it to update the stats. However, there's another problem here, and that is that in order to do that, we would have to make it so that every single equipment item we have has all of the data for how to update each of these lines. And that just means a lot of work every time we create a new item. And so we're gonna use our player stats script to stand in the middle here. It already knows how to talk to our player general stats. We can quickly just add a line for each of these stats that it can reuse every time you update your information. So you click on one of your two slots here. It sends information to the equipment scriptable object, which has all the data, which then just sends its information to player stats saying, hey, player stats, update the preview window and player stats can send that message. Might seem a little bit roundabout, but it's efficient and we'll use the least lines of code. In the last tutorial, we set up a game object called our stat manager, which contains the player stats script. We're gonna start off our process right there. All right, now the first thing we're gonna need to do here is just make it so that our player stats knows how to talk to our preview text. And so we're just gonna make a new serialized field. And the reason we're going with a serialized field is so that we can see it and edit it in the inspector in Unity. And similar to how we did our attack text and defense text previously, we'll do the same thing, except it will be attack preview text, defense pretext, etc. At this point, we'll also need to make a private reference to the image itself that we want in our display window. We'll call this one preview image. Now, it won't like that for the moment, but if you right click, we can go to quick actions and then just let it know that we are using Unity Engine.UI. Now that we've told our script how to talk to the preview window, we're going to create a method that will do just that. So we'll come down below our update equipment stats and create a new method called preview equipment stats. Essentially what we need to do here is we're going to prepare this method to take in information from our scriptable object. For me that will be an integer called attack and defense, etc. The one thing that's a little different here is that we will also need to get a sprite. We can just call this item sprite so that we know what to put in our preview window. Now the next part is going to be pretty straightforward. It's gonna be very similar to what we did up in our update equipment stats method. And all we wanna do is tell our attack preview text dot text, so the text itself, that it's going to be equal to attack dot to string. And remember, to string just converts the integer to a string so that our text can read it. We'll then repeat this for each of our attributes. And finally, we'll just add one more line, which is just gonna tell our preview image that its sprite will be equal to item sprite. And with that done, we've now set up our player stats so that it can receive information and then pass it along to our preview window. You'll notice in Unity now that we have new lines here in order to reference the preview text. And let's just set that up right now. You can head into your player equipment panel under the item stat panel and under selected item stats, we'll have each of our stats right here. So I'm just gonna lock my inspector here for the stat manager. That way I can open up each of these and actually move over. It is the number that we're gonna wanna update. All right, now you may have already noticed as you were hooking up all of those stats that there's no spot here for us to connect to the preview image. That's because I just missed one thing in my script. So if you head right back into your player stats script, up here where we created our private image, preview image, we do need to serialize that field. With that done, you'll now have the preview image box and you can go up here under our item stat panel, grab the selected item image and drag it in there. Our stat manager is now able to talk to our preview window. Now we just need to actually have some information being sent over to that preview window. And we'll do that from our equipment scriptable object. 
Now our equipment scriptable object is really just the place where we hold all of the information about each item. And so all we need to do here is grab the information and then pass it along to our player stats script. So we already have a spot to store all of our stats. However, we're going to create a new serialized field. And this one will just be a private sprite called item sprite. This will allow us to store the image that we want sent over to our stat preview window. With that, we can create a new method. And I'm going to do this before equip item. And this one will be a public void called preview equipment. And essentially what we want to do here is just pass the information along to player stats. And that's going to take a little bit of a longer line of code here because we need to first of all find the game object holding our player stats. In my case, that's called the stat manager. Then we need to get the component of our player stats. I'm just going to hit enter to get onto a next line to keep this clean, but we are still writing that same line of code. At this point, we want to call our preview equipment stats method. And we want to send over all of our information. So our, each stat that you want to send over along with the item sprite itself. So the idea here now is that when we click on a item in our equipment or equipped slot, it will automatically call this preview equipment, which will find our stat manager and then send over all the relevant data that it needs for our preview. All right, so the next functionality we wanna add is that when we click on one of these equipment slots, we want it to actually fill in the preview window. So to do that, we're gonna need each of these slots to be able to talk to the individual equipment scriptable object so that it can pass data along. To do that, let's head into our equipment slot. Now, first off, I'm gonna come down here right below where we make the reference to our inventory manager, and we're gonna make another script reference, although this time it's going to be a reference to our equipment scriptable object library. We then need to tell this script how to actually find that script. And so we'll head down here into our start method and we're gonna borrow this inventory manager line as we'll be using very similar, except that this time it is our equipment SO library, which will be equal to inventory canvas. It's just looking for the equipment SO library script. We're now able to talk to our library of scriptable objects. The next step will just be to tell the individual object what it's supposed to do. So to make that happen, we're gonna head down to our on left click method. And essentially here, once we've deselected all the other slots and shown that this one is activated, we now want to have our preview window fill up. So we're gonna do a for loop. And remember you can type for and double tap tab to make this generate. And essentially what we wanna do is we wanna go through all of the equipment scriptable objects in our library. So we'll type in the library, the scriptable objects, and we wanna go through the entire length of that array. As it checks through all of our scriptable objects, we just want it to keep going until it finds one that is a name match to the item that we are currently looking at. And just actually to make this really clear, let's call it this dot item name. And at the moment it won't like that and that's because I just forgot to put my I in here. Remember all that that I does is it makes it so that it knows which equipment item we're looking at. So the first time through the loop, it looks at the first item, then the second, the third, etc. So it just says whatever item you found that matches the name, we're now gonna do something with that item. So first of all, we'll address that item. So it's in our library. It's an equipment SO of number, whatever number we happen to be looking at right now. And all we wanna do now is just call that preview equipment method. So to recap, when we left click an item, we will look at our equipment scriptable object library, find one that is a name match to the item that is supposed to be in this slot, and then just tell our equipment preview method to be fired. Now we're getting close to being done now, but we don't just want to be able to click on the items over here in our equipment inventory and see a preview. We also want to see a preview when we click on them in our equipped slots. And so we're going to head to our equipped slot script next. Now the good news is that in here we've already done a lot of this work. Our equip slot already knows how to talk to our equipment scriptable object library and how to find that library. All we need to do now is just make it so that when we click, we use that for loop that we just created in our equipment slot. So let's head there and borrow that. So I'm just gonna grab this entire for loop right here and head back to our equipped slot. And now we can add that in as well. You can save that and head back to Unity. All right, in order to make this work, we just have to make sure that our actual equipment scriptable objects are up and running. So I'm gonna head to my assets folder, open up my equipment scriptable objects. And first of all, let's take a look at our white shirt. Now up here, you'll notice I just now need to add a item sprite for my shirt. And then I'll also click on my rusty sword, which will also need a item sprite. 
Now, if you've not already done so on your inventory canvas, you also just want to make sure that both of these are actually in the equipment scriptable object here. Now, at this point, things will be almost entirely functional, but I want to address two possible problems. So you should at this point be able to click on an item and have its data appear. However, you might have an issue like I do, where if I click on this sword, you'll notice the data is not updating. Also, when I click on like an empty slot or take an item off, I would like this to deselect and go empty again since I'm no longer selected on that item. Let's fix both of those. So first off, the weird thing with my sword is just stemming from the problem that my equipment scriptable object is my rusty sword. However, the item that I collect on the map thinks that its name is just regular sword. And so this is one thing you'll have to watch out for with this is just making sure that your item name actually matches the scriptable object that it goes with. Next, we just want to set it up so when you unequip an item, the preview window goes empty. To do that, what we want to accomplish is just in our equipment menu, under the player equipment panel, in our item stat panel, we just want both the item image and stats to just get turned off so that it will look like it's blank when we are not actually using it. To do this, let's head into our player stats script. All right, so in player stats, the first thing we just need to do is to quickly make a reference to the two objects that we want to turn off. All right, with that done, we can scroll down and under preview equipment stats, I'm just gonna create a new method. This one will be a public void called turn off preview stats. This will be pretty simple as we just wanna grab our selected item image and then set the active to false. We then wanna do the same thing for our selected item stats. Now this will probably have the unintended effect of making it so your stats turn off all the time forever, and we don't want that. So let's just grab those two functions there, bring them up here into our preview equipment stats, and we wanna make it so that whenever we update the stats and item sprite, once the update's done, we then turn the stats back on. All that remains now is to actually call this turn off preview stats method, and we're gonna do that from our equipped slot. To enter equipped slot, you can scroll down to the spot where you unequip gear. Now at the moment, this script doesn't actually know how to talk to our player stats, so we'll have to do a quick game object find. And the object we're looking for is going to be our stat manager, which will have the component player stats on it. At this point, we can now call the turn off preview stats method, and that should do it. Now I'm actually gonna borrow this exact line here and head over to our equipment slots. All right, so here we wanna make it so that when we click an empty slot in our equipment inventory, it turns the preview off. And for this one, we're gonna be taking advantage of that is a full Boolean value that we created a long time ago. Now let's head down to our on left click method. Now essentially what we're gonna do here is first of all, just create a new branch. And so we only wanna be selecting and deselecting if the spot we've clicked is in fact full. So first of all, we're just gonna type in if is full. And essentially, if the slot's full, we want to go on doing all the stuff we've always been doing. But now we want to create an else statement. And for that else statement, we can just head over to our equipped slot and borrow this line right here, telling our player stats to turn off the preview. We can now head back to our equipment slot and slide that line in there. Now when you left click on the slot, if the slot is not full, it's just going to turn off the preview stats. At that point, we will also want to just grab this information here, which will just deselect all of the other slots and then select the empty slot we just clicked on. In Unity, we've just got a little bit of setup to do. You can click on your stat manager and you'll notice there's now two boxes here because it wants to know what the selected item stats and image are. And we can just grab those from our item stat panel and drag them right over. All right, we've now got loads of functionality. We can click on those items in order to see a preview. We can click off and the stat window closes, double click and the equipment appears on us, put other items on, and you can also get the preview from here within the player display window. All right, that's working really nicely. At this point, the main thing that we still have left to do is to set things up so that when we equip items, they actually change our player's appearance in the game. We'll get Martin clothed in our next video. Until that time, he'll just continue running around in his skivvies. This is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.